everybody, Charles Calhoun, aka the Shade Tree Pro. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm gonna start pushing things next level. Now, one of the things that I've I've said before, and I'll continue to say it again, is that the you know when you strike the ball, you're not dragging these hands past it or whatever. You know, the strike, you know, you got to be behind the mass. And 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 I will argue that to the day I to I day I die. But here is this. Let me show you, and I'm so you'll understand. See, the golf swing, and I've said it before, the golf swing is being taught different. I mean, excuse me, taught backwards. And people are not paying attention to it, and they're not seeing it. And I'm going to show you what I mean by it's being taught backwards. And it's being taught, and I still say it's being taught wrong. Now, when we make a backswing, now everybody's always talking about, you hear it all the time, you got to get to your lead side. Everybody's trying to get to their lead side. And I stand here and I watch them on this range, breaking their neck, trying to get to their lead side. But the problem is, you're not trying to get to your lead side. You're actually trying to get to your trail side. And I'll tell you exactly why you're trying to get to your trail side. When you make a backswing, or you make any kind of swing motion, because of that, the head is, is where our weight is, and my head is bigger than most, is that when you make a move to where your head is over whichever shoulder it's over, if it's over your shoulder, if it's over this lead shoulder, then your weight is on your lead side. It's, you're gonna feel it there. Now, you're gonna be pressuring this side. There's a difference between weight and pressure. You're gonna be pressuring this side, there's no question, but your weight is gonna be over here on your lead side because your head is over your shoulder. So that's where your weight is. So if your head's over there, obviously your weight's gotta be over there. So then when you strike and come back through the ball, your weight is gonna be over here on your trail shoulder. So your weight is gonna be behind the ball. So when you strike, boom, you're striking behind the ball. The problem with most people who hit thin shots and many other different bad shots, they're sitting here and they're trying to get their weight to their lead side, but yet their head is back here. And it's almost impossible to do because you have never seen a single golfer in your life who actually swings a golf club and gets to the finish to where their head is over here on this side. And if their head is over on this side, this means that they're on their left side. If their head is over here, boom, like this, that means that their head is on their trail side. Somebody who, I mean, there's not, a, there's not a golfer in the world that is a good player that you don't see when they finish that their head is over here on this side. Now what happens is this, is that in an effort of trying to get it to get over to the left side so much to finish over here on the left side, what's happening, the head is getting stuck in the middle because it don't know which way to go and you're popping up and everything else. And that's what actually leads to people popping up because they don't know where their head's going. So true nature, when you're striking a golf ball and you're setting up to it, no matter what, when you make your backswing, wherever your head is, it's gonna tell you where your weight is. So when you come through and stay back behind it, boom, your head is behind the strike. Your swing is behind the strike. You're not trying to drag your hands through. You're not trying to get to your lead side. What you're trying to do is get to your trail side. And the difference is, is you're trying to get to your trail side with your head, which the head is the top of the body. And once again, that's why top down is the place to be. The golf swing is top down. So we try to swing it from the top down using the heads, you know, scap up, scap down. And that's why my scap move is so simple. It's because I know where that weight is, and then scap up and scap down. That's how you build a golf swing, and that's how you learn how to take all that clutter out and understand exactly what's really happening. If your head is to the left, over the left shoulder, your weight is to the left. If your head is over the right shoulder, then your weight is to the right. And that's just all it does. I mean, that's, it's just that simple. And like I said, even me, even my own thinking, have to change some of the ways that I think. Charles Calhoun, a.k.a. The Shade Tree Pro, always good golfing.